Hello guys, uh, Ruthless Spork, aka Jim Dangle. Um, this is the update to my my E2 Stealer. I made a video on it a while ago. It's on my YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, this is the update. I added a few features, which include um, returning chips, because it's actually it's kind of fun. You can mess with people if that's what you're into. But um, I would. Added a, uh, I also added a feature to the chip itself. You can uh, hide it, and what it actually does, it makes it prop not solid, so people can't pick it up and take it or copy it or do anything like that with it. And you can show. And uh, now it also it does a search when you first paste it, paste it down. See in the bottom right, but there aren't any other chips, so it's not going to show up. But I had like two of them. Oh wait, let me, uh, let me paste them down first. For some reason, it always like anti-spams my uh, my E2s. Yeah, but see, it, it does an initial initial search, and then uh, we can do take index one, and then return one. Uh, f so for returning. Um, you don't need to, uh, you don't need to specify index, owner, or name. Um, I might add, make that a feature later, but I don't really see a point because, I, I don't know, I just don't see a point in doing it. Um, but the return thing is actually, it's pretty handy. So you can, you can really just steal someone, like somebody's chip, let's say they're not in their base, or they're not, they're not looking at their chip. And uh, you just you want to take a look at it. Okay, that's index two then. Get out of here. Okay, um, so you want to like look at it. You can open it up and just like print like this chip sucks. Upload it. Return. And they'll have this chip over there, you know, and it will mess with them. Um, I also just kind of, I cleaned it up a little, I feel. And I um, I added functionality for if you're not on the server I play on. Because on that server there is like a custom function, so I just added my own function. It's just a prop manipulate. And uh, yeah, it just TP's back. And also when you find here... It uh it adds that uh, that entity's position and angles to uh to arrays so that way you can return. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I was experimenting with this. I'll try and show you it. Uh, I don't know if it actually has. A, I don't think it does have an impact on it, which is why I stopped kind of messing around with it. But I really wanted to try and. Um, to see if you could like maybe break uh break other people's chips but it didn't didn't seem to work out too well uh oh i typed it wrong that's why break one Let's see if that yeah no it just couldn't get it to work um but yeah it's uh it's a lot more updated now and I don't know if before if I had the little hollow guy or not. But that was the uh, that was the main portion of the update. And uh, I think that was also just to make sure it doesn't like, uh, yeah, to make sure it doesn't just like break and cause a bunch of Lua errors. It won't allow you to do anything to props that don't exist. Like normally, it used to give me Lua errors, so I had to fix that up. Uh, but yeah, that should be just about it. I need to update these, or just this more specifically. I need to update this with the new functions. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have fun using this chip, and don't be don't be too uh, too evil with it. It is just like a. I don't even know why I made this. It's pretty mingy, I'm not going to lie. But I like it. It's fun to do. So I'll see you guys later.